I am Anil Kumar and we are reviewing Unit 3 Advanced Functions Characteristics of Polynomials. Now let us try to understand the possible number of turning points for odd degree polynomials. This is a very tricky question and at times you might just do a mistake and lose few marks here, right? To make you understand this concept, let me sketch a graph also and what we will assume here is that we are talking about a function whose leading coefficient is a n and for the time being we are talking about odd degree that means n is odd right odd number correct odd whole number and has to be a whole number and then we'll also that means degree is odd right and we'll consider this time a n to have a negative value right so we say leading coefficient is negative so a n is negative so negative leading coefficient So that is what we are considering. Now, if the leading coefficient is negative and the degree is odd, then what is the characteristics of the end behavior of a polynomial? End behavior is negative leading coefficient means right side down, right? So that is the end behavior, right side down. And since it is odd degree, opposite end, so it is kind of opposite ends. So the graph of the polynomial will be from quadrant 2 to 4, right? So it may be anything in between, but ultimately it will start in quadrant 2, end in quadrant 4, correct? So we can write down the end behavior will be that when x approaches negative infinity, y approaches positive infinity. When x approaches positive infinity, y approaches negative infinity, for an odd degree polynomial with negative leading coefficient, right? Now let's talk about the turning points, right? So let me take a very basic odd degree polynomial and sketch a graph for that. And then we can say, when then we'll talk about other graphs. So that is say a graph of kind of like this. Does it make sense? So it is an odd degree polynomial, correct? And it has a zero it will always have a zero but how many turning points it has you can always move from quadrant 2 to 4 without turning right it's kind of straight so it does bend it's called point of inflection uh, but keeps moving in the same direction so how many turning points are there so we can write possible turning points right possible number of turning points let's say number right so we see first zero. So it could actually go across without any turn. Correct? So that is could be like let's say we have a function here. Let's write down its kind of equation y equals to x to the power of minus uh, minus x to the power of five. Let us say I made it quite flat, right? So let that be the case. Okay. Now what are the other possibilities? This is what we are looking into where n is a number let's say which is a big number it could be 3 5 7 9 11 something like that okay what are the possibilities now let us see we take another function n behavior will start from here and let us say it decides to turn now if it decides to turn one turning point of course it is going towards quadrant 1 but it has to go towards quadrant 4 so it has to turn back right Okay, so that means how many turning points? Two turning points. So the next option is to have two turning points. Remember, odd degree polynomial cannot have one turning point. If it turns once, it has to turn again to end up in quadrant four. Okay, let's take up another function. And this time, uh, let's say this is our function and it decides to turn and then, then again it decides to turn. Now, it's leading to quadrant 1. It has to turn again, right? It has to turn again, so it ends up here. So, how many turning points? 1, 2, 3, and 4. Oh, my God. 4 turning points. So, what you notice here is that this number increases, and you always get even number of turning points, right? So, can I write here that odd degree polynomial will have even number of turning points right so what we also learned minimum how many 
minimum turning point is zero. It could go straight like x to the power of five, right? And uh, maximum how much? Maximum, okay. Maximum will be, let us say degree is five. That means five means what? Five means that we will we can have five zeros. So one, two, let's say three, four, and five. Let's sketch it, right? And see. So it will go like this and behave right. One, two, like this. Do you see that? Oh, sorry. Okay, well, oh my God. Let me just correct it. Okay, like this. Is it okay? So let's count the number of turning points. One, two, three, and four. So five degree will have four. So maximum is one less than five in this case. So we can say maximum will be n minus one. Do you get the point, right? So the possible number of turning points will be zero, two, four, till n minus one, right? So let me write down our final statement. And that is all possible turning points will be, this is about odd degree polynomial, remember that, right, of degree n is 0, 2, 4, like this, till n minus 1. That is what we conclude, right? And remember always, odd degree polynomial cannot have odd number of turning points. It cannot turn once or thrice, okay? It will turn even number of times from 0 to n minus 1. I hope that's absolutely clear. Thank you and all the best.